Do you know that some animals can live even after they have died? It might sound unbelievable, but folks, it's true. From sea animals to land, there are certain animals like jellyfish and cockroaches that defy the conventional boundaries of life and death. Follow me in this video and discover 10 animals that can live after death. Let's explore how they do it and what makes them so unique in the animal kingdom. Number 10. Cockroaches. Did you know that cockroaches can survive for weeks after losing their heads? It sounds crazy, right? But here's how they do it. You see, unlike us humans who need our brains to do almost everything, cockroaches have nerve cells spread out all over their bodies. So even if their head gets chopped off, these nerve cells in their bodies keep working. That means their legs can still move and they can respond to what's going on around them, like feeling things with their antennae. Of course, they can't survive forever without food or water, but this survival trick shows just how tough cockroaches are. It's like they have a backup plan for when things get rough. Before we move on, share this video, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comment section below. Number 9. Jellyfish. Turritopsis dorni. Turritopsis dorni, also known as the immortal jellyfish, can live after death. Isn't it pretty wild? Imagine this jellyfish reaches maturity, right? But instead of just getting old and fading away like most creatures, it does something incredible. When it faces stress or gets hurt, its cells can turn back time. This process, called transdifferentiation, is like hitting a rewind button on aging. The jellyfish's mature cells transform into young, fresh ones again. This ability isn't just a party trick, it's a survival superpower. Even after severe injuries or tough times that would normally be fatal, the Turritopsis dorni can rejuvenate itself. This means it can keep going and going, potentially living forever in the right conditions. It's like having a built-in fountain of youth, making this jellyfish one of nature's true marvels. Number 8. Turtles, for example, red-eared slider. At number 8, we have turtles that can still move their limbs even after they've passed away. So, after a turtle dies, there's still some nerve activity left in its spinal cord and muscles. This leftover activity means that if something touches or disturbs the turtle's body shortly after it dies, its legs might twitch or move. It's like a reflex reaction, similar to when you touch someone's knee and their leg kicks without them even thinking about it. This ability doesn't last long because, well, the turtle isn't alive anymore, so eventually, everything stops working. But it shows us how complex and resilient nature can be, even in those moments after an animal's life has ended. Number 7. Octopuses Octopuses can survive after death, which proves that nature is indeed a mysterious force. It's pretty amazing how they manage it. So when a female octopus dies, especially when she's still guarding and caring for her eggs, something incredible happens. Even after she's gone, her body still sends out these special signals called hormones. These hormones help her keep looking after the eggs, making sure they're safe from hungry predators and other dangers until they hatch. This kind of post-mortem care is really important for the baby octopus's survival. It shows just how smart and adaptable these creatures are, even beyond their lifetime. Number 6. Salamanders – Axolotls Axolotls are like the superheroes of the animal world when it comes to healing and survival. When they get hurt and lose a limb or part of their tail or brain, they've got these special cells called blastema. These cells are like magic. They can transform into whatever cells are needed to grow back the missing body parts. So after an injury, these blastema cells rush in and start building new tissues and organs right where they're needed. That's how axolotls can completely regrow their limbs or even fix parts of their brain. It's like having a built-in repair kit that other animals don't have. Number 5. Flies. Have you ever noticed that annoying buzz of a fly that just won't quit even after it's dead? Well, here's the strange part. Flies can keep twitching and moving their legs and wings even when their brains have stopped working. Here's how it works. Unlike us humans, flies have nerve cells spread out all over their bodies. These cells don't need the brain to tell them what to do, but they can keep going independently for a while. So after a fly dies, these scattered nerves can still fire up,
causing the legs to twitch and the wings to flap in response to things like a gust of wind or touch. It's like the fly's body has a mind, even after the brain is out of the picture. Number 4. Snakes and Let's unravel the mystery of snakes and their post-decapitation movements. So, imagine a viper or a rattlesnake gets its head chopped off. You might think that's the end of it, right? Surprisingly, these snakes can still move and even bite for a short time after losing their heads. How? Well, it's because their spinal cords have a backup plan. Even after the brain stops working, the spinal cord of these snakes retains some nerve activity. This leftover activity can trigger basic movements and reflexes, so their bodies might still slither around or lash out with a bite reflex. It's not about the snake being alive in the usual sense. It's more like their body is on autopilot. This weird ability isn't just a freak show. It's a survival strategy. For snakes in the wild, being able to bite even after losing their heads can surprise predators or buy them a bit more time to escape. Number three, frogs, for example, African clawed frog. It's time to hop into the curious world of frogs, particularly the African clawed frog and their surprising post-mortem movements. So imagine a frog passes away. You'd think that would be the end of any movement, right? Well, not quite. These frogs can still twitch and show reflexive movements even after they've died. How does this happen? It's all thanks to their spinal cord and muscles. Even after the frog has stopped breathing and its heart has ceased, there's still some activity left in its nerves. This lingering nerve activity can cause muscles to contract, leading to movements like leg kicks or twitching. Sometimes, external triggers like touching the frog or applying electrical signals can also spark these reflexive responses. Number two, fishes. Some fish, like tuna, can keep their hearts beating for a while, even after they're caught and declared dead. Curious how it happens? It's because these fish have a lot of oxygen stored in their bodies, even after their brains stop working. This stored oxygen helps their heart muscles stay active for a bit longer. So even though the fish is technically dead, its heart keeps pumping. This post-mortem heartbeat helps move oxygen around their bodies, which can slow down how quickly their tissues break down. This ability is really helpful for fish that live in places where oxygen levels change a lot. It gives them a bit more time before their bodies start to decay. Number one, chickens. Picture this, a chicken gets its head chopped off, but instead of keeling over, its body starts running around. How does that happen? Well, chickens have these special nerve pathways in their spinal cords that can trigger basic movements like running or flapping wings, even without a brain. When the head is gone, these nerve pathways, called reflex arcs, take over temporarily. It's like when you touch something hot and your hand jerks away automatically. It's a reflex. So the headless chicken isn't really alive in the usual sense, but its body can still move because of these reflexes. Hope you enjoyed this exciting journey today with me. I'd be happy to hear your suggestions. What topics or questions do you have in mind? Do let me know in the comment box below and stay tuned on the channel for some more exciting videos.